Hey, 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 everybody, it's Jade. Thank you so much for scrolling on through, for swinging on through, whatever brought you here. I'm stoked that you decided to stop on by, whether you're new or you're returning back. I have some sports stuff to talk about, of course. I have some star slash astrology stuff to talk about, of course, too. So I'm just going to dive right in, but I hope everybody has been doing great. So first things first, free Brittany Griner. She is still over in Russia. Um, she actually pleaded guilty to having um, cannabis cartridges with her. So um, yeah, still over in Russia for right now. Hopefully she gets home as soon and as safely and swiftly as possible. So free Brittany Griner. Um, I kind of was looking at some astrology stuff um, related to that. And I'm going to dive in a little bit deeper to that later on. Um, but I just I have a feeling that she's going to be in Russia for for a while. I mean, her extension or she was extended to stay there for like at least another six months. So um, I kind of think it's going to be around maybe March of next year, possibly when she could be um, coming back home. Hopefully it's sooner, sooner rather than later for Brittany Griner. So free Brittany Griner and come home soon. All right, so sticking with the the ladies here, the Minnesota, um, the Vixen, the Minnesota's uh, professional women's football team, they are actually um, playing for the championship today. I'm actually going to share my screen a little bit here. I got their Twitter pulled up. So go Minnesota Vixen. Um, like I said, they are playing for the championship today um, at 1 p.m. Central Time. It's actually <clears throat> going to start really soon. Um, airing on ESPN2. I was thinking of actually trying to live stream this one. Um, I don't think I'm going to, but I'm definitely going to check it out. So good luck to the Vixen. They're facing off against um, the Boston Renegades. And they had this same matchup last year. The Vixen lost, unfortunately. And I believe this year, um, the Vixen, the Minnesota Vixen are 6-2. and two, And I believe the Boston Renegades, who they're facing off against in um, Canton, Ohio, I think, today, um, they're 8-0, so good luck to uh, the Vixen today. Um, I kind of just had some stuff pulled up um, about it, but that's really, really exciting. So go Minnesota Vixen. Um, yeah, wishing them all the best. So moving right along here. All right, some Timberwolves news, people. All right, the Timberwolves, they are howling here. That's what they're doing. They got some trades. That's what's been happening. The biggest thing is... Bienvenue, oh, Minnesota, Rudy Gobert. Welcome to Minnesota, Rudy Gobert. Um, yeah, biggest news here for the Timberwolves. Uh, what was this from a couple of days ago? It's the 10th today. Um, oh, yeah, just a side note, too. Happy birthday to my, one of my grams. It's her birthday today. Happy birthday, grandma. Um, <laughs> it's the 10th today, so the 6th. This was four um, days ago, so bienvenue, oh, Minnesota, Rudy Gobert. Let's see what we can do. He came here to take this team to the finals. Good. That's what we want. That's what we want. All right. That's what Timberwolves fans have been waiting for. Um, there he is with uh, Finchie there. So that's really exciting. And I'm not exactly sure who this is over here on the left. But I probably should know. Chris Finch over on um, Rudy Gobert is a left there. Or uh, a gauche. I think that is left in French. Duat is right. I believe gauche is left. Take it all in. Take it in, Rudy. Take it in. Um, First look here. There was something. He was on a plane when he was on the plane. Oh, here it is. I kind of wanted to share this. Join this team to uh, join this community. Thanks for having me. You know, I'm really excited to, to join this team. Thank to, you. Dorian, you're uh, welcome. Join this community. And, uh, you know, I'm, if there's one thing, uh, I'm going to give 200% every night. And I'm going to do to help this team win a championship. And, uh, nice. Go. I like it. Yeah, to me. want here. It looks like maybe he's on in a car. Maybe I don't know. I thought maybe he's on a plane. Um. All right. Well, there he is coming out of the plane. Car Carl Anthony Towns, who also got extended. Um. Uh, not exactly super happy with that. Um. I really honestly think I don't. I think they should have traded Carl Anthony Towns, in my honest opinion. But hey, I don't make the decisions. So Carl Anthony Towns got extended. Rudy Go Rudy Gobert is here. All right, so let's see what this team can do. All right, it is exciting, though, for the Timberwolves. And I think that they – I think I'm excited to watch them. They've been doing well last year. And speaking of the Timberwolves here, moving right along to our actual superstar here, the actual leader of the Timberwolves, 
That is Anthony Edwards. This is old. This is from June 29th, but he was throwing the football here, people, and I'm sure the majority of you have seen this, and if you have not, super impressive from Anthony Edwards, and I do declare, I do believe that Anthony Edwards was actually um, considering going into the NFL or trying to get drafted into the NFL before he decided to go into the NBA so the dude can literally do everything. He can do it all. And I'm pretty sure he has a birthday coming up here. He's a son in Leo. Very, very powerful already. And I do, I have written down in my notes too that um, maybe Ant can actually replace or be the backup for uh, Pizza Ranch Boy for the Minnesota Vikings. You know, just that Sean Mannion, it's been nice, okay? But actually, you know, I don't know. Ant being a backup or Ant just completely replacing Pizza Boy. So let's see. Let's watch this. Very, very impressive. Um, and even to uh, Mr. Tom Brady commented on this video too, saying that uh, Anthony Edwards was playing the wrong sport. So I just really enjoy this. And this is just more proof, in my opinion, that Anthony Edwards is not only just a talented superstar all around, but a leader. He's got it. The kid has got it. He's got it. All right. So this is exciting. Hey, back in three, back in three. Oh. All right. Oh, yeah. Let's see, Yo, Nick. Yo, Nick. Look up, Nick. Put that bitch out there. Don't worry about it. Up, Don't worry about it. Oh, my God. I'm worried about it. We ain't got that. Amazing. Yeah. It, it's just like no effort Don't involved, in seemingly. No, let's just throw that down the field. No problem. Oh. Got it. I'm excited hey, for it. Hey, hey, that's not bad shoulder. Bad shoulder. That's it, shoulder. That shit bad shoulder. That look like that. That look like it to me. Oh, now he's gonna go catch the ball. There he goes. He had to stop. He had to stop. He had to stop running. I just noticed that now. I've watched this a couple of times. Don't We're impressed. Us is impressed. What y'all think? I got a profession in this shit or what? Yes. Maybe. I do think so. I hey, back so, up, sir. Okay. Yes, I do. <laughs> All right. So I really, really enjoyed that. Again, I don't know if everybody, if all you all saw that, but a little taste there of Anthony Edwards' talent. As if we didn't know, he's already just like extremely talented, just right there. Of course, the kid can throw a football too. Oh, man. I had more stuff to share. We'll go back to that. So, um, yeah, Anthony Edwards throwing the football. I was very impressed with that. I like what I see, and I do feel as if he could be the backup for Pizza Ranch Boy. He definitely could be. So moving on to our favorite Minnesota sports team here. Us is favorite. Well, I like them all, but um, the Minnesota Vikings. So in school news, people, in school news, basically the biggest thing is training camp is two weeks away from today, July 24th. It's coming really fast. And before we know it, the season is going to be starting. It is so crazy. And I think I have come to the conclusion that I believe this season for the Minnesota Vikings, the theme for this season, 2022, is going to be, drum roll please, is Kirk comfy? Is Kirk comfortable? Is Kirk comfy? We gotta make sure Kirk's comfortable. We gotta make sure. Everybody's gotta make sure Kirk is comfy. Is Kirk comfy? That's going to be the theme for 2022. I've already heard it, and the season hasn't even started yet. And I'm not going to spiral here, people, because those of you that, that know how I feel about Kirk Cousins, a.k.a. Pizza Ranch Boy, you know that I can spiral. You know that I can. But, okay, so let's make Kirk comfy. Mm, I remember when he was originally signed on, he was the only missing piece, and now ever since then we have to build this whole team around him. What is going on? I'm sick of the excuses. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. But moving on. So that's just like, I wanted to put it out there that is Kurt Comfy. That's going to be the running theme. 2022. Mark my words, people. Mark them. And um, also not necessarily in school news per se, but NFL news, NFL rumblings. Baker Mayfield got traded to uh, the Panthers. So that happened. And, um, yeah, where's Jimmy G going to go? <laughs> That's still just like, where is Jimmy G going to land? I bet he stays in San Francisco. He could. I'm still I'm still confidently saying that Kirk, Jimmy G, just straight up just swap. Send Kirk back to his bestie, Kyle Shanahan. Send Jimmy G here. He can work with Kevin O'Connell. Let's see how that works out. 
Anyway, again, people, I'm not going to spiral. So training camp, T-minus two weeks for the Minnesota Vikings. And, all right, in NFC North news, people, in NFC North news, I want to get ready to share again. I forgot I had more to share <laughs> because um, the person that I'm going to be talking about is rather forgettable. <laughs> all right, anyway, I'm just kind of being mean now. So moving back to Twitter here, people. Um, in Evil to the East news, um, Blue of Earth's boyfriend got a new tattoo. So let's check that out here. I don't know if all of you have seen. I'm sure you have. It made the news. And it made the news so much. And it actually has something in it that even I tweeted about it. So let me pull this up here. Um, oh, yeah. This is a really cool drawing that somebody did. Um, Shannon. Shout out to Shannon here on Twitter. She did this drawing of Randy Moss. I think it's a painting. Painting? Oh, drawing. My bad. Anyway, go check it out if you want to see it. It's on my Twitter. At Shannon Rositz, I think. Right there. Really cool, though. Amazing that somebody could do that. That you draw that with your hands. I'm just so impressed. I mean, come on. Look at this. Amazing. I'm so impressed. Anyway, okay. Where is this tattoo? Here it is. <laughs> okay. So, um, Danica's ex here, also known, I think right now, I think we're going to have to go with Blue of Earth's boyfriend. Okay. The evil to the east quarterback. He got a new tattoo. Let's all gaze at it. Are you stargazing at it, everybody? Are you? Because it is, you know, it's got the, got the celestial bodies there. Um, can I make this bigger? I thought that I could. All right. I think we can all see it, though. So the one thing about this, okay, that I wanted to put up here was the, I have found now, I have found, us has found one redeeming quality about Danica's ex here. One redeeming quality. And that would be that it looks like he is into astrology, which I do support, of course, as a lifelong astrology student. I support this, um, being into astrology, that is. So... Sorry, my nose was started running, people. Anyway, just kind of wanted to point out, I, I of course, have, what do, what does it all mean? It's, I don't know, it's it's his own tattoo, right? But from what I can see, well, we got the eyeball in the middle there. That's, that screams um, Illuminati to me. That's kind of what it looks like. It also, you know, it looks like what's on our, our currency, the U.S. currency, that eyeball right there, which, again, to me, tinfoil hat time over here. Illuminati reference as well. Um, but, uh, and then the two lions, obviously we have here. One looks to be like the outward lion, maybe um, expressing emotions with uh, the mouth open, the masculine. Um, Leo, the sign of Leo is ruled by the sun. The sun is the luminary that rules over ego, masculinity, things like that. And then we have the other lion over here, a little bit more somber, perhaps that could reflect the inner lion, okay? The inner feelings, which is represented by the moon. Um, and then up here, we got some constellations here going on up here. So I do, I do know that Danica's ex, Blue of Earth's boyfriend, is a sun in Sagittarius. So that's what's in the middle here, this kind of arrow. That's the symbol for Sagittarius. So we got the constellations going on there. And then over to uh, my left over here, we got uh, this. This is the symbol for Scorpio over here. It kind of looks like a little M with kind of like a tail on it. And then over to my right, we got the, it kind of looks like waves, two waves or like kind of squiggle lines, I guess. That's the sign of Aquarius. So it's kind of all in the middle. And, um, you know, Sagittarius, so it's the zodiac signs are Scorpio, um, Sagittarius, Capricorn, and then Aquarius. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's got obviously some personal meaning to him, but I just wanted to touch on that because I will say, obviously, again, I am a lifelong astrology student, so I do support the astrology angle. I'm sure there's so much more into that, and maybe it's not even, well, I was going to say maybe it's not even astrology related, but I'm sorry. It has to be. It's Scorpio, with Sagittarius, and Aquarius right there. So, anyway... Found that to be fascinated. Just wanted to share my opinion on that tattoo. And apparently it's his first and only tattoo. Okay. So with that, I want to wrap it up by wishing everybody a happy full moon. This week we got a full super moon. 
And Capricorn, in the sign of Capricorn, and it's going to happen depending on where you live on the 13th, uh, 14th. So happy full supermoon in the sign of Capricorn to everybody. And it's a supermoon because it's going to be extremely close to the Earth. So hopefully everybody can get out there and see it and enjoy. And full moons usually kind of, you know, wrap things up, kind of things come to completion. Um, it's usually a good time to release things that kind of don't work for you anymore. And if you know more about your chart, you can look and see where Capricorn is in your chart to see how that's going to reflect um, with your life a little bit more. So anyway, happy full moon this week to everybody. Thanks so much for tuning in. Everybody, let me know what you think in the comments. Of course, I really appreciate all of you watching and supporting. I hope you're having a lovely summer and staying cool and staying safe, healthy, all that good stuff. So with that, with all of that being said, everybody have a great rest of your Sunday and a nice week upcoming, and I'll check you next time. Peace out. P.S. Mar, hi to you and Kitty. How are you doing? Of course, I miss you both. Hope to see you again soon, very, very soon in the near future. All right, everybody. Once again, thanks for joining, and I'll check you later. Peace.